Hi, I'm Valerie Warner, owner of Valmarie Paper and fellow fighter for focus when it comes to prayer. Have you ever heard this question before? Why don't I pray as much as I want to pray? I think this comes up a lot. In our hearts, we know we want to pray, we desire prayer, but it's hard. We feel like we don't have time or we don't know how to fit it into our day every day. I love a quote that Jess Conley shares in her book, Dance, Stand, Run. She says, the argument that you might not have time to pray with God is just a little silly because you have your entire day. It's so matter of fact and even childlike and just a reminder that sometimes all of our adulting can get in the way of just knowing like we do have our entire day to spend with the Lord in prayer because he is fully accessible. Today, I just wanna show you several different ways that I personally pray throughout the day and also we have a full blog post of different ideas from our community or things that I've done in the past um, that I hope will be helpful, whether you're a mom, whether you're at work. I hope these will be ideas of opportunities where you can stop and pray throughout your day. It's not a checklist. It's not something that you need to do to have this full prayer life with the Lord. These are ideas. Okay, so in the morning times, the way that I normally have a little prayer routine is just part of my quiet time. I have everything set up for me in the morning, and the first thing I do is I grab my prayer journal, and I actually start by writing out three gratitudes. This is the third section that we have in our yearly journal, and it basically just has lines so that you can write out a thousand gratitudes throughout the year, um, and this is about three every day. And this is just a really easy way to ease myself into my time with the Lord, especially if I wake up really early and I'm just kind of foggy and, you know, trying to get clear. So it's a really easy way to get started. Then I will pray and read my Bible. And usually that's just a really quick prayer to ask the Lord to speak to me through his word. And then I read his word. And after that, I will normally take one of my section or I'll show you my prayer journal. So I will start and pray through one section a day or one page a day. You do not pray through every section every morning. That would be so overwhelming. And though you can do that throughout your day if you would like, just make it a really a small goal in the beginning so that you can start creating this habit. James Clear actually calls this the two minute rule and he says, whatever habit you're trying to start, just commit to two minutes a day. And I would say that would be about one section or maybe even just one line and start there every morning and you will start to develop this consistent habit and then your the time that you spend can grow from there. I also will usually write maybe every few days in the conversation section. And this is basically just written out prayers. I'll write like half a page. I don't do this every day. I probably do this every couple of days. And I just love this time to really focus my heart. Whenever I finish my quiet time, I have my planner set up for the day. And one thing that I do in there on every day is to write what section I'm praying through that day. That way is whenever I open my planner, I'm reminded of those things and I can pray if I'm just looking through my to-do list and I have a minute. This is just another opportunity for me to pray the things that are on my list. And even though I don't have my journal with me in that moment, usually a few days into the month, I can visualize that list of what I've already written out because I've looked at it a few times. That's just one more opportunity to pray throughout my day. Okay, so after my morning time, I will take my prayer journal and I will actually put it on this little stand, which goes right back here um, in our dining room area. And I just leave my prayer journal open to either the scripture page or whichever section I am praying that day. And I'll be honest, some days I don't pass by and it doesn't always make me pray or remind me to pray, but I like having it open so that I have that reminder um, because many days I do notice it and I do think to pray. If the prayer journal is not sitting on my little recipe holder, it's either in my car and next to me as I drive around town or it's sitting up on my windowsill in the kitchen as I cook or prep food for the evening. Okay, for the evenings, I have a few different ways that I like to use my journal. Sometimes I will sit on the ground, do my stretches, and just kind of like take some deep breaths, relax before the night, and I'll just have my prayer journal open to pray. Or whenever I'm in my bath, I will set the journal up on my spigots and um, just pray while I'm relaxing in the bath. Okay, so that's how I use the journal in my current season of life. But if you'd like to see tons more examples, if you have young kids at home, if you're at work, 
definitely go to the blog post linked below and see lots more options. I hope they are encouraging to you. Grab our 2020 version of our yearly journal. This is gonna come in three different colors for 2020. We have pre-orders that run through August and then we'll have them on sale throughout the rest of the year. There is a link below to go order. We hope it will encourage you to find so many opportunities throughout your day to spend with the Lord. Have a great day.